So guys, the heart rate challenge is finally back. The there is hope for tonight's episode. There is hope for tonight's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here. My name is Ngozi and welcome to Discover Ngozi where I post reviews, sit down videos, vlogs and university related videos. So guys, I have to just say yesterday's episode was actually unwatchably bad. Like I actually could not bring myself to do a review of last night's episode. Like when I tell you, even when I was watching it, I couldn't even concentrate. I had like, I usually take notes when I'm doing, a um, when I'm watching the episodes, so I can remember everything I want to say. But last night's episode was so bad that I didn't even want to, I didn't even have anything to write. So that's why... You didn't see a video for last night's episode, so sorry about that. But I'm here again, bringing you guys a uh, first look. So, first look, we see that Tyler's trying to do some romantic gesture for Kaz. Um, I did say before that I wasn't feeling them anymore, but I'm not going to lie, not seeing them on my screens. I have kind of missed them, and I, I have now become a Kyla stan. I've gone back on my words, so I eat back up my words of saying that it doesn't hit the same for me anymore. I still love them together. Kaz is you know I'm, I'm i'm a cast stan basically so i'm happy that we're gonna finally get to see them today because people have been asking for it um i'm not gonna lie for a moment there i was scared that he was gonna ask us to be his girlfriend please go to the place where we shared our first kiss through terrace <laughs> shall we like as much as i'm happy that they're coming back on our screens like i just feel like that's so quick but anyways each to their own but it does it might actually be a situation where he's actually asking her to be his girlfriend but i'm hoping he's asking her to be exclusive because i feel like that's just an appropriate step like who am i to dictate when how fast people move people can move on their own in their own pace but i just really hope that um he's asking her to be exclusive or something and not like it's been like anyways that's up to them anyways if he's asking to be his girlfriend fine whatever but it, sh it cringes me out how quickly they move um because i feel like that's kind of what burns it down when they come out on the outside and then they join the two weeks gang of being together and breaking up after two weeks so it seems like liberty is having doubts about jake we're seeing jake and mary talking and, and she's kind of is kind of getting to her like, certain things in my girl don't sit by it fuck is it I'm not being stupid. You're no one's mark, bruv. Like, I don't think that anything is going to happen romantically between Jake and Mary ever. Like, I, I think that they're just friends. But we'll see from tonight's episode if it was a bit flirty or if he was getting too excited. Let's be real. We know that Jake has made it very obvious that his types are blonde. So, obviously, he probably... So, he probably finds Mary attractive. I mean, she's a beautiful girl. So is Liberty. But Jake probably finds Mary attractive. So, maybe that's why Liberty is feeling a bit... And I feel like this is still an effect from the last um, movie night of her thinking that he still isn't attracted to her. So, I feel like this is security might still be coming back coming out from there so i do feel bad for her but i don't think let's be real what's gonna happen probably she will she's not gonna break up with jake i'll be really surprised if she breaks up with jake in this villa she's probably gonna talk to him about it he's probably gonna say you're my girlfriend and everything will be fine so let's be real nothing is probably gonna happen from that but we're seeing that she's having doubts she's saying that she, he feels like she's um she's been taken for granted and this is what we've been saying like everybody in the outside we've been saying this boy does not deserve liberty like he it she is clearly way more into him it's a joke he's still haven't returned the i love you i know you can't force people to say i love you i know you have to say in your own time but how can when jake asked liberty to be his girlfriend jake, liberty said i love you and this boy goes oh bless you and then he um talks to the rest of the islands guys she just said she loves me like that was so awkward like i i feel like in that moment he could have been like um i'm falling and i'm falling for you or i'm not there yet but i'm falling for you just be honest like there's not you shouldn't lie about loving someone because that's also as bad as um that is just as bad basically is what i'm saying also the heart race challenge is finally back <laughs> We've been asking for the heart race challenge, the Twitter challenge, the um, parents to come in and give their opinions. Um, we've been asking for the lie detector test. And I know those ones will probably not come back, but I'm glad the heart race challenge is here. Because sometimes the heart race challenge, it, it fuels drama when one girl is racing the, another guy's heart, which is not her couple, which is not his couple. Sometimes it gets to them. Sometimes there's drama after that. So I feel like tonight might be a turnaround from yesterday's episode. Last night's episode was so bad, you guys. I literally could not bring myself to talk about it. Last night episode was Priya Island it was just it was awful it, it was an unseen bit that they gave us basically so I'm hoping that they redeem themselves today but yeah guys thank you for watching this quick review um I promise my review will be out tonight on time and I'll keep on doing the reviews regardless of if it was dead but last night one was it was too dead for me I don't even think anyone wanted to hear what I had to say because there was nothing I had to say but thank you for watching this and see you guys tonight bye